Okay, I've had some nice flowers before. Now I'm thinking about something sweet. And as a Valentine's Day could not get any sweeter, Diana Jankowski is here from Sugar Bomb Confections. And I've been looking at your stuff over here, trying to figure out how you make such beautiful looking items. And I guess we're going to find out from the ground up. Yeah, we're going to make some marshmallows right now. So in this pot, we've got some corn syrup, some sugar, and some water. We're going to cook that to about 240 degrees. And we're going to put it in this mixer with some gelatin. We use the sheets. So 240 degrees. So we're getting hotter than boiling water here, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is could be a little dangerous, right? It'll burn you to your bone. It's super hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess so. So making marshmallows is... <laughs> Serious work. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so we've got some gelatin, corn syrup, and is, water. So in there. What, what's, what are these little sheets right here? These are gelatin sheets. Like if you buy it at the store for home use, it'll come in a powder. It works the same, but professional mm. application, we use the gelatin sheets. You're a professional. <laughs> so, and we've got some freeze dried raspberries right here that we're going to use. Let's take a look at that. Can you guys see that? Look at that. So well, they freeze dry and then you, you grind, grind them up? Well, I buy them powdered, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Mortar and pestle, something, <laughs> yeah. something like that, huh? And then the big vanilla bean. Yeah, so this is a vanilla bean. You just split it down the center and scrape the insides out. And I've already got some in here, but uh -huh. so you can see the... So the outside of the bean is not really the flavor, it's the inside? It all is. So like after you scrape the inside of this bean out, I'll take the shell and soak it in some bourbon, and that's how we get vanilla Excuse extract. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a very nice idea. <laughs> right. Okay, so we got that going. So fire away. All right, so we're going to dump this into the mixer and just wait a few seconds and this is going to get to 240 where we're going 240 yeah okay so, so when it gets there when that's going to 240 if you have a second then so making chocolate is a whole different thing it then. is yeah so so these little chocolates here like tell me about these so these are dark chocolate um cordials with a cherry jam filling that we made for the Cleveland Aquarium and wine tasting mm -hmm. last weekend. So they're all the same flavor, but they look different for the event. We use a 68% dark coverture chocolate that we temper to get this nice shine on it and like a nice hard snap. It's beautiful. And we hand paint them. Yeah, they look like, yeah, so you do it with a little brush then. Yeah, we've got an airbrush that we use too, but. Excellent, and then like when you make these, like a lollipop, like what, like one of these things, mm -hmm. is it sort of like making what we're making now? Yeah, but it's way hotter. That goes to 310 degrees this for the lollipops, yeah. Wow, if I wanted to buy these, how do I how do I find you? You can get a hold of me on my website, which is Sugar Bomb Confections. Sugar, or, I love that No, name. it's sugarbomb216.com, yeah. and, um, and find me at the Cleveland Bazaar's pop-up this weekend. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. What's going on over here? What do you think? So we're getting there. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut this off. That's hot. Yeah, it's hot. So we're going to crank this up. Boy, gonna that is courageous right pour there. Pour it down the side. So it goes like down the side and into the bottom of the mixer first. Instead of hitting the, the beater, huh? Yeah. I'm going to turn that up and let it go. Wow, you are courageous. And then in the meantime, we'll show you what they look like when they're finished. Okay. So this is a finished sheet tray of the marshmallow. We're going to whip it until it gets nice and fluffy like this. So how long does it take to do that? This so will take a couple minutes. Like it's going to get thick and, and right away, but uh -huh. it takes a minute to set up. So we'll put, you normally pop it in the refrigerator and wait a few hours. But we're not going to do that right, right now. Right, right, right. <laughs> so this one's already and ready to go. Yeah, this one's already to go. Let me throw on some gloves real quick for you because they're kind of sticky. So a, like a marshmallow like this, like, would you use it like to add to something, like like as a topping, or would you eat it just as a confection? You can eat it any way you want. You can eat it just as a confection. You can put it in hot cocoa. You can eat it on a s'more. We sell pre-made s'mores with house-made graham crackers. How good is that? It's awesome. I it's bet it is. super awesome. Look at this. So this is look what it looks this. like when it's done. Is that cool or Yeah, what? it's like a store-bought marshmallow, but it doesn't have like that crust on it. It's yeah. just fresh all the way. Because I think they probably have to dust them in some kind of powder so well, they we're don't gonna stick do together. That. We're going to do that too. We're going to yeah. dust them in the powder, but it's not going to get like crusty it's just gonna be all fresh gooey and nice so you cut it like this into these little sections you can use cookie cutters to mm -hmm. do hearts or whatever kind of shapes you want and here it is and then here it is so in here we've got a little powdered sugar cornstarch and then freeze-dried raspberries and that's why you always wear black huh so you get the <laughs> right <laughs> and so you know shake them up in and they're there. done and they're done okay let's tell people how, how to get a hold of you one more time Sugarbomb216.com. Okay. Or at the Cleveland Bazaar's Valentine's Day show this weekend. Okay, so here's, there it is. Check it out. Cleveland Bazaar Valentine's show. It's from 10 till 6, Saturday, February 11th. This is getting ready for Valentine's Day. Lake Effect Studios, 1615 East 25th Street. So that's right in Ohio City then? No, it's on no? the east side. It's over, um, ah. yeah. Okay, so let's get that straight. Yeah. Lake Effect Studios, East 25th Street. What's it close to? What's it near? Oh, goodness. Um, it's next to East It's 20. by CSU. Okay, there and, you go. Over there, CSU. And the Arts and Crafts building. Okay, I'm going to try one of these. May I? Mm hmm It looks pretty good, too.
it's better than pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. So you can buy like a, a bag of these? Is that how yeah, you buy them? Yeah, we sell them in a bag. They, it's got like the zip top or whatever. And then we also sell them in the s'more with the fresh graham cracker. Creamy and, and delicious. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to say that for Natalie. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me.